Welcome everyone, Self-Sufficient Mama here. I hope you all are doing well and staying healthy. Let's dive into today's update on the virus. So far, there are four different virus variants. As you can see here, we have the alpha variant with scientific name B.1.1.7 that originated in the UK. Here's beta that originated in South Africa. We have gamma that originated in Brazil and the most recent variant delta that comes from India. Here we see the current variants and some of the future variants of concern. The red points here are the variants of concern and they include all the variants I just went over except the India variant which is labeled here as under investigation. All right, so now that we have gone over these virus variants, let's talk about treatments. As you know, the number one treatment that has the most focused and funding with hundreds of billions of dollars poured into studies is of course vaccines. Now I couldn't find the exact number of how much money has gone into this, but I do know that it is a lot. Here are the top used vaccines as you can see here on this chart. It lists the vaccine company, the efficiency of the original variant, as well as the vaccine's efficiency with the beta and gamma variants. The delta variant is still undergoing scientific research and there is little to no information on it. Based off this chart, there are lessened efficiency and immunity to the virus in most of these variants in one way or another. In all instances, every vaccine company is recommending a second dose of their vaccine or a booster shot to further protect against the new variants and future variants. According to the CDC, vaccines are effective at keeping you from getting COVID. They also say that the COVID vaccines will also help you keep from getting seriously ill even if you get COVID. So let's run that by again. Vaccines keep you from getting COVID, but you can still get COVID even when you are vaccinated. All right. The CDC then says that after a vaccine, you are safe to not wear a mask, but you should still wear a mask, to protect yourself and others, and to uh, prevent the spread of the virus. So even if you have already had COVID, you should still get vaccinated and you should still wear a mask even if you're vaccinated. None of the current vaccines will protect you 100%. So why get vaccinated? The only explanation that I found that did not contradict itself was that if you get vaccinated, you can lower the risk of having severe illness caused by the COVID virus. It is claimed that even though you get the vaccine, you could still get COVID, but your symptoms are lessened and the need to be hospitalized is reduced. You may get mild COVID, so for that reason alone, getting the vaccine will be worth it to many higher risk people. So how long will the vaccines protect you from COVID? Well, experts don't know yet because they're still studying vaccinated people. These shots are new and approved for emergency use, so the data and information on them are still being experimented and tracked. So far, Pfizer and Moderna have reported that people who receive their second doses still have notable levels of virus-fighting antibodies six months after the second required shot. So there is no answer as to how long they will protect you. Let's move on to other treatments for COVID. If you have watched some of my other videos, you will see some of these listed. My favorite is ivermectin. I did look up its effectiveness on those other variants, and I did find that because ivermectin has different mechanisms of action against the virus, it's also effective with the different variants. The FLCCC has reported that it has adjusted the dosage on their protocols as well as added additional medicines and measures to help make the protocols more effective against the variants. As you can see here on this list, there is the global adoption of COVID-19 early treatments. 
over here it has the list of all the ones that have been in the study and up here it goes over all of the areas countries that have done any um, studies on it now the really cool thing about this website is you can click on every single one and it will bring you to all of the information now this is the global adoption for it so on here it goes by country in alphabetical order so in Algier Algeria they have hydroxychloroquine it is official and they have done a countrywide adoption to it here are all of the references from there Argentina ivermectin it is unofficial because there is mixed usage on it and the date is right here Bahrain hydroxychloroquine clean it is official and it they have um, done countrywide adoption for it these go over all of the countries and which method of treatment that they are adopting whether it's unofficial used in some regions or countrywide adoption so I'm going to leave this link to the website in my description below these are the other treatments that you can um, try for COVID-19 early treatments hospitalized and if you already have COVID and different situations all of the information can be found on c19early.com the link that I was on was for the global adoption for it these are the main ones 55 countries have officially approved early treatment and this is where I went to global early treatment adoption and it goes over all of them for you all right that wraps it up I want to thank you guys for watching today um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please press that subscribe button I try to do updates every week or every two weeks it takes me some time to do some research um, thank you guys you guys have been wonderful and I wish you guys all the best of health Write your comments below. Tell me what you think. Let me know what's going on. Until next time.